Way far out and groovy. Hi, this is Quadcopter 101, and this is the new Cheerson CX-10D Nano Quadcopter. A really good-looking quadcopter, if you look at it. And it's controller, too. It's got that 60s uh, motif to it. But uh, what's special about this little nano quadcopter is this is the first nano quadcopter to include altitude hold in the quadcopter. Um, that sensor that's in there, the barometer, it has a barometer in there that senses um, its altitude and automatically maintains that altitude so that the uh, flyer does not have to worry about adjusting altitude on this quadcopter. Other than, you know, just giving it an altitude that it wants to fly at, then letting go of the, the pitch roll stick or the throttle stick, and the quadcopter will maintain that altitude. Um, looking at the quadcopter, it's very similar in shape to the previous CX-10 series. Uh, it has this little on-off switch, little uh, charging port, little 80 to 100 milliamp hour battery inside there, which you cannot replace, by the way. But other than that, um, the controller looks similar too. But if you look at the controller, the throttle automatically centers the throttle stick. So that tells you that this is an altitude control quadcopter. Now let's go over the controller. To, this does have automatic takeoff where the quadcopter will automatically take off and maintain an initial altitude of about uh, one meter. But to op activate that, you press what would normally be the uh, pitch trim button up. And it has automatic landing also, which you land by pressing the pitch trim button downward. Um, the left throttle stick, as you see, is centered. And um, it also includes, if you press it, it changes the rates from beginner to intermediate to expert. The right pitch roll stick, if you press it, uh, enters flip mode. And you can do a manual takeoff by bringing the sticks down and moving them inward, like so. That will either st that will stop or start the motors, and if you want to do an emergency stop on the motors, you do it again. <laughs> that will stop the motors. So that's it in a nutshell. Very very basic quadcopter. Let's try it out here for its first flight. So to operate it, all you do is turn on the quadcopter, place it on a relatively flat level surface, turn on the transmitter. Transmitter is on. Bind the quadcopter. And I am going to intermediate rate because we have a bit of a breeze here today. And we're going to start with an automatic takeoff. Let's press that button and watch what happens. Cool, huh? <laughs> it does its job very well. So this would be great for beginner flyers. I want to see how stable I can keep it here. Now, its altitude does go up and down a bit because I got a breeze here. And when the breeze hits it, it seems to want to climb. But I am not going to mess with the throttle or with the throttle at all. Well, I want to bring it down lower. Let's bring it down a bit. Pulling down on the stick, and it comes down very slowly, by the way. <laughs> very slowly. Okay, uh, let's maintain that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Trying to get the right altitude. When I push forward on the pitch stick, it wants to climb. Well, again, I'm going into the wind there. Let's see its maneuverability. Let's go to expert, actually. You know, expert's too... Expert is too much for it. You'll lose orientation on it very quickly. But again, I'm flying with a slight breeze here, and that seems to really be affecting its altitude holdability. Let me hold the sticks up so you can see them. And I'll try to bring the quadcopter closer so you can see the quadcopter. See, when I give it pitch, it climbs. Forward pitch. But if I give it gentle forward pitch, it maintains altitude. So, you know, when it accelerates forward, it senses that change of air pressure, I guess from the propellers, I'm guessing. See, forward pitch, it goes up, and it comes back down to that preset altitude. Okay, reducing throttle, bringing it down, because it likes to climb. Interesting concept. <laughs>
Okay, letting go of the stick again, bring it down again. So yeah, if you're flying in a breeze, it may act a little screwy on you. Let's give a little throttle, bring it up. A little more throttle. See what I'm doing? <laughs> Now you're not going to be doing a lot of air back. Oh, wait a minute. I haven't done flips yet. Flips. <laughs> right flip. By the way, this does not have altitude, or not altitude hold, but um, headless mode, which I kind of unusual, you know, for quite, most of the quadcopters you see these days include the headless mode. Going back at it again. Well, it tries to maintain altitude. You still have to adjust it. You still have to give it some adjustment. Especially if you change pitch and roll it, it'll climb or descend. Watch, I'll give it, there we go again, see? It's really sensing, I'm pretty sure it's sensing the uh, pressure changes caused by the uh, Motor's accelerating when you give a forward pitch. Okay, let's do that again and show you. See? It wants to climb. I'm just giving a forward pitch. But if you're just hovering, yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's just let it hover and maintain altitude that way and give it gentle inputs. And as you see here, it's maintaining altitude very well. But if you give it... Um, Aggressive inputs, then no, it doesn't maintain altitude very well because the uh, pressure changes underneath it from adjusting the props. I am guessing. Neat little quadcopter, 610D. Good quadcopter to learn to hover with, I guess, for beginners. But not for aggressive flying at all because of uh, what happens with the pitch change or the altitude change when you give it pitch and roll commands. Let's bring it down a little lower. <laughs> yeah, it climbs when you give it pitch. That's good flight. Good flight time. very stable and there goes the throttle okay so that is the CX-10D in a nutshell folks um, for right and groovy looking quadcopter uh, but for aggressive flying it's not a good idea it's a more of a beginner's quadcopter to learn to hover with I'm I would say uh, based on its flying ability so oh no you know I, I like it for beginners it's a good one it's quadcopter 101 signing out